I'm a neuroscientist, and my research involves stressing people out every single day. Who's been stressed lately? And what are some of the reasons that you've been stressed? <laughs> exactly. In order to understand stress, let's go back a couple of hundred thousand years. We're now hunter-gatherers roaming the savannah, surviving day by day. Suddenly, we see a lion, and we must run for our lives. Living this unpredictable life meant that we required a system where we could mobilize a lot of energy really fast, and this is called our fight-or-flight response. But nowadays, we mobilize this fight-or-flight response in anticipation to something that's going to happen. It's like the things that you called out, an exam next week, bills we need to pay, or in my case, a very expensive student loan in a post-Brexit Britain. But also, in social situations, right, we get stressed out about a very promising date or about a boss who's a bully. This social stress is my speciality. And actually, one of the best ways to induce social stress in the lab is to do what I'm doing right now, giving a speech. So we get participants to give a speech in front of myself and my colleagues. And to make things even worse, we act as if we're completely bored and uninterested. So, apart from our poor participants looking terrified, how, how do we know they're stressed? We measure a tiny hormone called cortisol. I'm going to show you how it works. Cortisol gets released into the bloodstream, and a fight-or-flight response... This is why I bought a spare. It's triggered. Our heart rate increases so that our muscles can work. Our blood sugar spikes so that we have lots of energy, and our pupils are dilate so that we can become hyper-aware of our surroundings. Whew. But all this stress response has done to me is turn me into a hot, sweaty mess. My research is showing that in order to manage our stress response, we must work with our evolutionary system. And two big things help, exercise and meditation. With exercise, we're using this increased energy in the way that it's meant to be used. So maybe instead of running away from a lion, you could run away from your boss. Meditation is incredible. I've just analyzed a huge data set on how meditation reduces social stress. Those who learned to be present and accepting of the moment had reduced cortisol activity when they gave a speech. So instead of getting caught up in thoughts about the future or who likes you, learn to be in the present here and now. Stress is necessary to our survival. Although not all of the stress in this world is inescapable, learning how to work with our stress rather than feel consumed by it may help you all to cope a little bit better. And it's helped me enjoy this big moment on the stage. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs>